my favorite guys in country music is on. Chris, how are you, man? Man, I'm doing great. How are you, Bobby? Man, it's really good to talk to you. I got to tell you, I was, obviously I'm a massive fan of, uh, of your music. And when the song Arkansas came out, I, I said, all right, I'm going to listen to this. I'm from Arkansas. And I came on the air. And I'm going to be honest, I cried. And I know this is such a jam. <laughs> you you, cried. I, I, <laughs> but I know it's such a jam, but let me explain to you why it meant so much to me, okay? Because, okay. and you'll relate because you're from Kentucky, but I feel like in my life, being from Arkansas, we've only been called hillbillies, rednecks, we're always made fun of for being dumb, and the fact that you made a positive song about where I'm from, when nobody respects where I come from, I literally had tears coming from my face, Chris, and I know it's hard to hear when it's a jam song, but that song hit me emotionally, I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> well, Matt, uh... <laughs> It, it was not the expected response, uh, but it, you know it's a uh, it's just a fun song about driving fast through those Ozark Mountains. And but you know it's what a beautiful state that is. You know that that song's a real. I mean that's all just kind of um, with a few minor embellishments, probably. Uh, you know, other than getting uh, you know chased by the cops, it's it's uh, you know it's it's really about driving through Arkansas, and it's just it was it's just a beautiful state to drive through. If anybody ever has more time on their hands and a little extra gas money, it's a, it's a worthwhile drive. What was that trip? You were going to pick up a car in Oklahoma City, is that right? Yeah. I, um, well, me and my bass player got dropped off. My wife bought me a, uh, a car for uh, my birthday, which was very nice of her because my wife's cool like that. And so um, rather than, um, you know, you can always sort out having things shipped and things like that, but it just seemed like more fun to, to drive it home. So we started in Oklahoma city and kind of wound, uh, you know, started up, uh, in Northern Arkansas and then wound down and came over, wound up driving back through Memphis and, you know, back up to Nashville. So that, uh, you know, it's a fun little drive. I, I like driving. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a road trip with no purpose person and, and, uh, at heart, I think. Chris Stapleton's on with us. Are you a, a big music guy? Like what do you listen to on a road trip? Oh, there's probably uh, uh, for sure some uh, some Patty Wildflowers uh, um, happening. That's 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 my main record, but it's also my main road trip record. I, I just love that record so much. Um, but you know, the, I have various things to listen to. And my my bass player, JT Cure, he's a he's a he's like a walking jukebox. So he's he's always got uh, a lot of good tunes in his pocket. So uh, yeah, we. Uh, yeah, I'll listen to some some music. You know, I, I mentioned I was vulnerable. I said that song brought me to tears. Now I'm going to ask, have you ever written a song, Chris, and as you're writing it, you're so moved by it that in a, in a beautiful way or a sad way that you cry in the middle of writing your own song? Oh, well, I mean, I can think of, uh, well, I, there's a song on this record uh, called Maggie's Song. It's about a, my dog that died. How country is that? I mean, um but probably, you know, I wrote that the day after she died, and so that that song was a tough one for me. But um, that's the one, that's the only one I can really remember. Um, but you know, um, I can't remember a lot of things that happened in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Stapleton's on with us. Now you're one of the best pure vocalists out there. When you get in the shower, do you sing songs like everyone else? Because when I get in the shower, that's where I let it rip. Are you letting it rip in there? Oh, uh, no, you know, man, I, I'm not a, I don't think so. I'm not a big, I, I, it's eerie to me how much I really just enjoy silence. Um, I, I'm kind of a big, in general, I like silence because I'm, I'm, I, I kind of got things bouncing around in my head. I have enough noise in my head that <laughs> I think, uh, I, I think sometimes the silence feels more like, uh, the appropriate thing for me, particularly when I'm by myself, uh, in the shower. Starting Over is the single now. We play it all the time. Tell me about this one. Uh, you know, why, this song here, Starting Over, why would, Why did you choose this one to be the first radio song? What did it mean to you? Uh, well, I mean, it was kind of... Uh, I played the the record for the label, and, um, you know, I wanted to name it Starting Over, the name of the record, but, because it seemed appropriate at the time. And... Uh, I don't know. Everybody just kind of gravitated towards that. It was, uh, you know, it's a song with a little bit of hope in it. And uh, I think maybe we could use some of that right now. And it, 
it's a good driving song, which I'm a fan of, you know. So, um, I, I think it's uh, if you're if a song hit sounds good while you're riding it in a car, that's that's probably a good a good mark. Urban legend of Chris Stapleton is that when you made this record, and because you're being so safe with COVID, you drove it over to a record guy's house, put it on top of his car on CD, and then drove off and said, "Hey, I left your record there. See you soon." Well, it's not completely uh, incorrect. I mean, he came outside. I laid it on his car. And said, <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of correct, though. But yeah, I drove. I drove it uh, to a couple different uh, people's houses that you know was necessary to get the ball rolling. Um, um, yeah, I like that better than email, and I like. I still like CDs. I probably sound like a dinosaur, but. Um, I like to give people physical copies of things and, um, I like, um, you know, I like people to listen in the car and when you send somebody something in an email, it doesn't work so well to listen in the car. I think uh, car listening is an important factor for me. One final question for you before you go, uh, Instagram, do you have it on your phone? Are you uploading pictures or do you have someone to do that for you? I, I don't have it on my phone. Uh, no. Uh, and yes, we do have people that work on that. I mean, it's obviously we talk about it uh, before we get into anything too crazy. But uh, but not my Instagram is not particularly crazy either. So um, I'm a horrible photographer. I you know uh, I jokingly take horrible selfies, you know, to, and send them to my wife as jokes. But I'm not I'm not that person who um, you know has a real skill in that in that regard so yes we have we have somebody kind of uh handling that now my wife you know she she has one too and, and she she kind of is much better at that but uh that's uh not not my thing chris great to talk to you thank you for the time i'm going to play starting over right now hopefully when things clear up maybe next year i'll see you again until then be safe my friend oh man thanks bobby see you back there he is chris stapleton everybody Who is a bobby show